So for today, we're going to be looking at Metadox, Metadoxia. Uh, it's a new exotic that Warlocks got the chess piece. And before we get into that, I have already done the Titan Hunter and one of the Warlock videos are all right here. Now, I can't, I can't post a link for all of them because YouTube only gives me four. But we'll do all of four for the other classes because the Warlock one just came out or should have came out earlier than the other ones. So... Yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think about the new exotics. Let me know which one is your favorite. I would probably have to say the my favorite is the chess piece for the Titans. I think that one's just so much fun that, yeah, I've just have been having, well, chess piece for the Titans and the Hunters. I think those two are just so much fun to use. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the exotics. Let me know what you guys think overall about everything, uh, the exotics, the new armor, everything, because I would love to talk about that with y'all. But but if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help quite a bit. But other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're, we're going to be looking at what it actually does. Still, uh, what the fuck is up with these names, bro? I'm not going to still. I'm just going to call it still. Targets damaged by Arcane Needle emit a suspending detonation when defeated. The land and landing multiple Arcane Needles on the same target immediately trigger a larger, more powerful detonation. Defeating suspended targets grants melee energy. Your Arcane Needle is are strong against barrier champions so there's a lot of things here um i have not used this exotic at all so warlocks let me know what y'all think about this from just reading the description it does seem pretty powerful especially since this is already going against barrier champions which is so dope um i just don't know how useful it would be even if you were to use uh an exotic or a legendary weapon that gave you more uh melee energy i just don't know if it would be good or just kind of like whatever. So Warlocks definitely let me know what y'all think about it. As for how it actually looks, I think it looks pretty cool. Very, very uh, simplistic, um, which can work. The only problem I have is that there's some dots on the side, the right side of the cloak, or not cloak, but the, the robe. That doesn't change color, specifically the dots. The green dots do not change color, which is very unfortunate. So take that how you will that i think that's super shitty but i mean whatever this is destiny 2 we can never have good things um as for how it shaders yeah like i said the green dots don't change color and you guys will notice it in specific shaders but i don't think it shaders really really terribly the only thing that i'm noticing is just the fact that like it's very simple and oh wow i didn't even mention this but there's dots around the chest piece as well so that those dots also don't change color which is very unfortunate because like i said you will notice it and the one that i noticed it was abyssinian gold so yeah if you want if you want to not notice it i guess you would just have a shader that has like a really bright like specifically like the default look of it looks really good because you don't even notice the green dots on the chest piece but you definitely notice it on the on the uh, robe so take that with what you will so for the example set, I ended up using the Dragonfly Regalia Helmet, the Contender Gloves, the Dendrite Shimmer Boots, and then the Ancestral Bond for the Bonds, and then Gift of the Nine for that one, so that way I don't have a Bond there. So Ancient Wisdom is a shader we're going for because obviously the glows on the chest piece bothered me, so I wanted to just incorporate that, I guess. Now, this is weird because like I like how this looks. The helmet and the chest piece specifically look really cool. Um, I guess my main issue or my main focus was the fact that I wanted to combine the arms to be one whole color, which looks cool. Um, I don't think this looks good or bad. I honestly was surprised with my reaction because I don't remember this, but I actually think this looks pretty cool. I would definitely would switch the helmet out for something a little bit more technologically advanced. The, not saying the Dragonfly Regalia looks bad. It looks really cool. It's just, I don't know if I like it enough for me to just leave it there, but let me know what you guys think about this example set. As for the example set, it's called Anian Emptiness. Yeah, it, I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know if it's just me, but it also looks very uh, Vex themed. I could be just not in my right mind, but for me, it looks Vex themed, which I think is what I ended up going with, but I, I haven't seen the example set in a while, so we'll see when we go there. But as for how it shaded, it looks pretty decent. Um, the only thing that I've noticed is the fact that the plate on the chest piece takes off colors. That's going to be your main gripe, I guess. That being said, I don't think it's that big of a deal because there is other pieces that are taking that off color. So it does even it out, even it out a little bit. And I definitely do think this example or this uh, ornament looks way better than the default look. The default look looks kind of boring. This one looks a lot more flashier. So if anything, 
this is the example set or this is the ornament that it should have been default in my opinion but speaking of example sets that i've mentioned it so many times oh this is what i went with okay so helmet shadow breaker hood legacy oath gloves shadow broker boots and then it's called chant bond so i don't think this is bad considering the shadow broker hood is gonna have that like the horns at the back that's gonna go really well with the chest piece um i think the boots are fine spe specifically because i like the fact that there's a crotch plate that goes well with the chest piece it looks like it's come like like conjoined with it which looks really cool i think the arms are really cool yeah overall i think this is really cool let me know what you guys think so overall thankfully this is the last of the new exotics oh my god it took a while i do apologize i usually do these really fast like within the first two weeks of the expansion but it's the fact that not only did i like record like the the hunter and titan ones but then like i noticed that my audio wasn't recording and kind of killed my vibe to make these but it's also the fact that i don't really like a lot of these exotics i only like two of them so it was more of a like i don't really care about these and the fact that we usually <clears throat> i don't <clears throat> We usually only get the exotics, not the ornaments. If you, if you guys don't know, um, how I do my content is if we get new exotics, I will just do new exotics. And then the ornaments I'll do in a separate video because they're usually other exotics, not the new exotics. So it's, it was the fact that I had to do the ornaments as well. So yeah, it's just, I, again, I apologize for making these so late in the game, but better late than never. And I am really happy because now I can actually start working on new content specifically uh, the solstice stuff um and some other stuff that i'm working in the in the background as well so i appreciate you guys coming to this point be safe i'll see you guys later <clears throat>